minus the current liabilities, which is 40,000. So the working capital is 50,000. Credit. What do you understand by credit? It is the sale or purchase of goods and services without immediate payment. Sources of credit. One, we have higher purchase. It is a contract of hire in which the hire takes the hire takes possession. I mean, sources of capital, hire purchase. It is a contract of hire in which the hire takes possession of the goal on payment of initial deposit and agreed to pay the remaining amount instrumentally with the option to buy the goal when it completes the full purchase price. We also have uh, bank loans. It grants loans to all eligible borrowers provided they can present a worthy collateral security. Another source of capital is a bank overdraft and this is only available to those with current accounts. It grants them the right to withdraw money more than what they have in their current accounts. We also have a finance houses, finance houses like insurance companies, discount houses, etc. Also grant credit to members of the public in various ways. Functions of credit. First, to make goods available on credit to middlemen from manufacturers. Second, to make goods available on credit to retailers from wholesalers. The third one, to make funds available to all eligible borrowers to solve their financial problem. And also, it makes uh, capital available to businessmen and, and women. And it cushions the effects of hardship of borrowers by granting them loans at their difficult times. Credit instruments. They are instruments of borrowing. They are grouped into two major types. These include short-term instruments and long-term instruments. Short-term instruments are credit sales, invoices, higher purchase, treasury bills, commercial bills, and other forms of security or IOU. Why long-term instruments include shares and stocks, government bonds, development stocks, company debentures, saving bonds, ETC. Let's review some questions. What is credit? Explain the, the importance of a credit. Credit is the sale and or purchase of goods and services without immediate payment. Importance of a credit. It makes total values. I mean, first, it makes total sales volume to rise. Two, it enables customers make use of goods and services without immediate payment. Three, it facilitates the sales of durable goods like vehicles. It cushions the effects of hardship of customers and also it uh, enables sellers to have and retain a large number of customers. Another question, outline the functions of credit. The first function is it cushions the effects of hardship of borrowers by granting them loans at their difficult times. It also makes goods available on credit to 
middlemen like uh, wholesalers, retailers, etc. Also, it makes goods available on credit to retailers. It provides mortgage loans to individuals for the building of either dwelling or commercial houses. It makes funds available to all eligible borrowers. Profit. Profit is the excess of total revenue over total expenditure. Types of profit. We have a gross profit. We have a net profit. Gross profit means a selling price minus cost price. Why net profit implies gross profit minus all expenses incurred in the production of the goods and services? Let's look at some calculation of gross profit. Question. Now, example. Bako and Co. bought a basket of eggs at 3,000 Naira and the firm sold them at 5,000 Naira. What is its gross profit? Here, yeah, its gross profit is you deduct the selling price from the what? From the cost price. So that would be you take away 3,000 Naira from 5,000 Naira. Therefore, the gross profit is 2,000 Naira. So now, if you want to calculate the percentage of the gross profit to the cost price, we have uh, 2,000 Naira over 3,000 Naira times percentage. So which gives 66.67% as the percentage of the gross profit to the cost price. And if you want to calculate the percentage of the gross profit to selling price, we have the the gross profit over the selling price times percentage, which is 2,000 Naira over 5,000 Naira times percentage, which gives 40, 40%, I mean 40%. So the percentage of the gross profit to selling price is 40%. Calculation of net profit. Assuming Bako and Co. incurred these expenses in the selling of eggs, Transport charges, that's carriage in what? Is 100 Naira plus rent is 300 Naira. Salaries, 500 Naira. Electricity bill, 100 Naira. So when we add this together, we have 1,000 Naira. So the net profit is, uh, we take away 1,000 Naira from the what? From the gross profit. Which gives what? 1,000 Naira. So to calculate the net profit, it's gross profit minus all the total expenses, which is 2,000 Naira minus 1,000 Naira, which gives 1,000 Naira as the net profit. Calculation of percent on turnover. So the net profit, if you want to calculate the net profit as a percentage of total sale, that's turnover. We have 1,000 Naira as the net profit, while the total sale is 5,000 Naira times percentage. So the net profit over the 5,000 Naira, which is the total sales times percentage, it gives 20%. So the net profit as a percentage of total sale, that's turnover, is 20% as given, as provided in the, in the information above. And to calculate the net profit as a percentage of cost price, we have 1,000 Naira, that's the net profit, over 3,000 Naira, that's the cost price, times percentage, that's 100 over 1. So, when you do the calculation, you have 33.3% as the net profit as a percentage of cost price. Let's talk about turnover. What do you understand by turnover? Turnover means total net sales. It is the total value of all goods 
sold in a period less value of all goods returned in what? Let's talk about calculation of percent on capital. First, let's see the capital employed. To calculate the capital employed, we're going to have the 1,000 error, that's over 5,000 error times percentage. And here, the 1,000 error is the net profit over the total sales, which is 5,000 error times 100. So when we do the calculation, it's totals, it gives 33.3%. Calculation of rate of turnover. So rate of turnover implies the total net sales. That's the turnover. The total net sales is the turnover over average stock. Average stock is calculated by addition of open stock and closing stock divided by two. So to calculate the rate of turnover, we have total net sales total net sales that's turnover over average stock and we know how to calculate our average stock as opening stock plus closing stock divided by two review questions what is profit outline its importance we have to outline the importance of profit profit is the excess of total value over total expenditure its importance. It makes a business to survive indefinitely. It uh, constitutes an income to a businessman. Profit creates employment while losses can cause retrenchment of workers. Company profit gives